But first this afternoon at 5, a major water main break, leaving tens of thousands without water. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. Macomb County leaders getting a good look at the broken water pipe. That's forced nearly a million households to boil their water this weekend. Tonight, seven communities around 133,000 Michiganders remain under a boil water advisory. Governor Gretchen Whitmer declared a state of emergency for Lapeer, Macomb, Oakland and St. Clair counties to ensure residents in these affected communities can get the help they need. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed live in Shelby Township tonight with the latest on what's going on. Faraz. So uh, I'm here in Shelby Township. This is one of the sites where uh, water distribution has taken place. Uh, it just wrapped up over here. I've been told eight pallets were distributed here just moments ago. It started at two, it was supposed to wrap at seven, but because it was limited supply, it ended early. However, there, as you can see right behind me, there are county trucks here who are informing residents over here that they can come back tomorrow for more water. Now, in terms of repairs, uh, I spoke to Great Lakes Water the pressure, for the most part, has been restored across seven of the impacted communities. Now, it's not normal. It's not normal pressure, but it's enough for sanitary purposes. Um, and residents both here in Shelby Township and in Rochester, city of Rochester, where I was earlier, they both confirmed that the pressure has been restored. Another thing that the uh, Great Lakes Water Authority officials are recommending people is to boil water for a minute. Now, this is very crucial. Susan Coffey, as a matter of, as a matter of fact, Susan Coffey, the CEO of Great Lake Water Authority, who I spoke to earlier today, has emphasized not to take this lightly at all. Boil uh, water for a minute, that's tap water for a minute, let it cool down, then use it. And of course, boiled, bottled, and disinfected water should be used for drinking, making ice, um, washing dishes, brushing teeth, or even preparing food. Also, um, now in terms of how this incident started, it all unfolded um, at Saturday in the morning, um, right about a hundred, but that's when the uh, Great Lakes Water Authority were alerted that a 120 inch um, water main pipe was burst and it was uh, causing, uh, and as you can see from the chopper video, that it was actually a burst and not a leak. So investigation is still going on at the moment. As you can see, the pipe is a multi-layered pipe. It's around 200 PSI. That's much how much it can take, and that's what the pressure was. But when we come back at 6, you'll have more on what people and the community here are doing to mitigate this, especially with the schools reopening. So that you'll hear from me coming up at 6. Reporting from Shelby Township, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. All right, tough time for those families. Faraz, thank you for the update. And stay with 7 Action News as we continue to follow the very latest as the Great Lakes Water Authority works to repair the water main break. We have a complete list of the communities impacted by the boil water advisory on our website, wxyz.com.